Hello, and welcome to another tutorial video for CSCI 2824, Discrete Structures. Today, we'll be covering recurrence relations. A recurrence relation is an equation in which later terms rely on previous terms. This means that it's important that we specify the first few terms. An example of a recurrence relation that you've probably seen pretty commonly is the Fibonacci sequence. This is a recurrence relation in which a term is the sum of the two previous terms, and we are given the first few terms, 0 and 1. So the third term in the Fibonacci sequence is 0 plus 1, which is 1. The fourth term is 1 plus 1, which is 2. The fifth is 1 plus 2, which is 3, and so on and so forth. We could formalize this as a of n equals a of n minus 1 plus a of n minus 2, where a of 0 equals 0 and a of 1 equals 1. This a of n represents the current term that we're solving for, while a of n minus 1 and a of n minus 2 represent previous terms. This is where we specify the first few terms. Unfortunately, relying on previous terms can get to be a bit of a pain, which is why we attempt to form closed form solutions. These are solutions that don't rely on previous terms. An example is a of n equals 4n squared plus 2n. We don't have any n minus 1s or n minus 2s. Everything relies on a of n the thing that we're currently solving for. One of the best ways to go about finding a closed form solution is through unrolling. For example, suppose we're given the recurrence relation a of n equals a of n minus one plus three, or a of one equals two. I'm going to walk through how we would go about unrolling this to find a closed form solution. Our first step is going to be to write the next term, but don't simplify. You'll come to see why this is important. So we've been given a of 1, so we want to write that a of 2 equals a of n minus 1, which is, n mi which is um, a of 1, plus 3. That is to say, a of 2 equals 2 plus 3. Now, we want to again write the next term, but again, don't simplify. So, we end up getting that a of 3 equals a of 2 plus 3. We note that we already solved for a of 2 up here, so we're just going to plug it back in. a of 3 equals 2 plus 3 plus 3. Now again, we'll write the next term, but you're probably getting used to this. We don't simplify. So we get a of 4 equals a of 3 plus 3. Again, we already solved for a of 3. So we get a of 4 equals 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. We can now see that a pattern has emerged. When we had a of 2, there was 1 3. When we had a of 3, there were 2 3s. And when we had a of 4, there were 3 3s. This means that we always have n minus 1 3s. And each time, we've been adding on 2 as well. So, our closed form solution is a of n equals 3 times n minus 1 plus 2. Now, whenever we form a closed form solution, we want to make sure that it actually works. One way that we can do this is by writing the first few terms of our recurrence relation and then making sure that our equation works. So, we've been given that a of 1 equals 2, and then we can figure out that a of 2 equals 5, a of 3 equals 8, and a of 4 equals 11. Now, let's see if this works with our solution. So in our solution, we would get 3 times 0 plus 2, which equals 2. That works. 
With a of two, we would get three times one plus two, which equals five, which also works. This follows for the next few terms as well. We get three times two plus two, which equals eight. And we get three times three plus two, which equals 11. So this seems like a pretty good way to show that it works, but there's actually a way that we can really prove that our solution works. In this method, we are going to utilize the original recurrence relation along with our solution. So our original recurrence relation was a of n equals a of n minus one plus three, and we found the solution a of n equals three times n minus one plus two. Specifically, we plug our solution back into the occurrence relation. And then we want to prove that it simplifies to, well, our solution. So we begin by taking our recurrence relation and plugging in three times n minus one plus two into a of n minus one. So we'll get a of n equals three n minus one minus one plus two plus three. So a few important things to note here. In our solution, we had three times n minus one plus two. Down here, when we've plugged in, we have three times n minus one minus one. Where did that extra minus one come from? Well, that comes from the fact that we had a of n minus one in our recurrence relation. So we plugged n minus one in for n. From here, we just want to simplify the, the equation. So we get a of n equals three n minus two plus two plus three. This gives us that a of n equals three n minus six plus five, or that a of n equals three n minus one. So this might not originally look similar to our solution, but if we simplify our solution out, we get 3n minus 3 plus 2, 3n minus 1. In reality, they're the same, and we have successfully proven that our closed form solution is in fact a closed form solution to the recurrence relation. Recurrence relations can be a little bit tricky, but after you've gone through working through them like this, they become fun to work through. Thanks so much for watching, and good luck.